Now I'm cowboy. And I'm lucky. Believe it or not, we're brothers. We're nothing more than a misfit and an ex-military man. We're not the most subtle bounty hunters money can buy, but our knack for mischief and our nose for trouble always seems to get the job done. <sighs> if it ain't broke, just you wait. Coming? I thought we were meeting Loretta. We are. What the hell's this? It's a dress shop. She said meet us here, so we're meeting her here. Why here? What the hell's wrong with you? I don't like this place. It's just a dress shop. You remember Aunt Maybell? What? Do you? Remember Aunt Maybell. Yeah, I remember Aunt Maybell, dumbass. Well, every summer she'd watch us and our cousins. Well, she would take me shopping. I was her little helper. And while you punks were out making mud pies, you know, riding bikes, playing G.I. Joes, I was at the Piggly Wiggly, Montgomery Wards, and Miss Eileen's dress shop. That place smelled like sour perfume and ass. There was never no air conditioner on. We'd spend hours. And I mean hours in there as she tried on one dress after another. Her and her very large friends. They tried to squeeze into dress after dress after dress. It was like visiting a sausage factory. I'm a little creeped out. That's why I don't like dress shops. You know what? Just when I think you can't become any more dumb or childish, you take it to another level. I'm proud of you. You go ahead and make your jokes. I don't care. But I know what I saw. You know what? Just sit out in the truck. I'm going to talk to Loretta. I hate this place. I'm getting tired of black. Oh. That's bright. It's really nice. But this, this is... This is fine. Excuse me, son. Do you like this color? <laughs> Are you okay, uh, Sonny? Oh, oh. You know what looked good on you, Loretta? What? Me. <laughs> Didn't we talk about keeping business and personal separate? If I recall, right? You said there's no personal between me and you. That is exactly <laughs> what I told you. <laughs> Are you okay, uh, Sonny? Oh. You just pay her, Lucky. That way you can get personal and you can do business. How you doing, Cowboy? You are looking lovely as ever. You still buying your clothes at the garage sales or are you just picking through the lost and found at the laundromat these days? Nah, your mom gave me this this morning on my way out because she's still wearing mine. All right, already. We didn't come here for this. All right, there's this crap hole across the tracks. The hideaway club. There's gambling, girls, fighting, drinking, drugs, you name it. Girls? There. Yes, and they are your type too. You both like crack. Keep going. Okay, anyway, they're not on my priority list. I've got bigger fish to fry. And frankly, as long as I keep it contained, I don't care what they do. So why are you telling me this? There's this guy that goes there all the time. His name is Nathan Keyes. He's the lawyer of this high-level drug dealer. What dealer? I can't say, but what I can say is, he's big time. So what about this lawyer? I want him. I mean, I don't know what he does when he goes there. I just know that he goes there. And I want to know why he is a regular there. I mean, a major attorney for a major drug dealer caught in a compromising position. I mean, that could be of some use to me. 
Yeah, excuse me for being a butthole, but what's in it for me? Lucky asked me what he could do to help me. This is what you can do to help me. It is not my job to figure out what I can do for you. What you got me to this time, Lucky? You heard the lady. Girls, drugs, and fighting. Nothing you can't handle, cowboy. Clothes to come to this club? Hey, she said there was gonna be girls. I dress nice. Yeah. This is so gross. Of all the things you've made me do, this may by far be the worst. I'm not asking you to go in there and hang out. Just go in, follow him around, see what he does, and that's it. Want me to kill him? Yes, that'd be a lot easier. No, I don't want you to kill him. Just go in and follow him around. Why don't you? I don't want him to see us until we get ready to take him down. What's he look like again? There he is. Saddle up, boys and girls. Both of us, yeah. if you can handle both of us, we take
tag team it for 400 an hour. Let's do this. Oh, I like it when you come and pay me a visit, sugar. Yeah, it's a business to do a pleasure with you, baby. What do you think of Loretta? I hate her. Why? Because she sucks. Dude, you need to just give her a break. She's not that bad. Why? You're the one in love with her, not me. You know what? You can be an SOB sometime. I love you too, buddy. Hey, man, I'm sorry. You spilled my beer. I said I'm sorry. Sorry ain't good enough. Hey, loser, it was an accident. Now back up before you get yourself hurt. You gonna let your bitch do all the talking for you? You gonna do something about it? Nah, we're cool. That's what I thought. Did you call her a bitch? <laughs> yeah, what you gonna do about it? Something's wrong. Quit bothering me, damn it. Oh! Oh, God! Oh. Come on! What the hell's wrong with you? What happened? I don't know. But whatever it was, child, it was too much for them. Ooh. Ooh. Whew. How hot do you think it is? Whew. It's about a hundred in hell.
You got five minutes. I need 10. Seven, start talking. Well, this is Nathan Key's office. And this is a divine Miss Jen. Nice meeting you, sugar. Pleasure. Get to the point. Well, you wanted me to deliver Nathan Keys? I'm about to deliver Nathan Keys. Let's go. I don't have all day. Be patient. How do you know this is gonna work? After observing Mr. Key at the Hideaway Club. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a corpse that they found there the other night, would you? Corpse? I don't know what you're talking about. Continue. Like I was saying, after observing Mr. Key, I sought out Jen and we had a little discussion about him. Seems as though he's a creature of habit. Mm -hmm. He visits his club three times a week, and then on Tuesdays for the past six months? Eight. Eight months, he invites Jen over for a little afternoon delight. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Double D delight. And today is... It's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So, here we are. So, here we are. I ain't doing this. Yes, you are. Just get out here on the double. If I do this, you better do what you promised. <sighs> I promise on my eternal soul. You better. Just get out here. Come on. Jealous. You're right, I am. I'm jealous because you got some legs on you, cowgirl. <laughs> I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Let's go to work. <laughs> so Come in. Well, show me some skin. Damn, girl, you got it going on. Hey, show me some skin. What? Show me some skin, dummy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm like a kid in the candy store. Now, come over here so I can get a good look at you. Come on. Yeah. Look at this. Look, look at that. Yeah, yeah. All right. What's your name? Uh, uh. Santa Horn. Santa Horn, huh? I like it. Yeah. I like him. What's the damage? Oh, Saddlehorn here? Mm hmm Don't come cheap. No, I'm not cheap, baby doll. <laughs> oh, I bet you ain't. For both of us, it's 600. You dig? I dig. Yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting for this all day. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, Saddlehorn, I insist. You first. You first. Ooh, saddle up, Saddlehorn, let's go. Get in there, Saddlehorn, show him some skin. Dive on in there, Saddlehorn. You first, come on. <laughs> Lucky, get your ass in here. Smile for the camera, Mr. Keys. What? The hell's going on? What the hell's going on here? What the hell's going on here? I'm calling the cops. Get out of here. Call the cops. And when they get here, you explain why you got two prostitutes in your office. What's, what's going on? I'm Detective Loretta Dunn. D -d Detective? That's right. Do I have your attention, Mr. Keys? Good. Um, do you want to keep these pictures that my friend here just took on the down low? Do you represent Miguel Herrera? Yeah. And can we help each other out? Good boy. Good job, Lucky. Maybe there is hope for you after all. <laughs> You're welcome. What's wrong with you? These panties keep riding up my butt.
Valmoinen.